In today's episode, I explore this $12 million mega mansion, which was constructed in 1976. It has six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and even a massive indoor pool. This magnificent home last belonged to a Chinese family who had successful businesses around the area. However, in 2010, the family tragically fell into hard times and lost all their businesses and wealth and they were forced to sell the house. The house was turned over to the bank since there were struggles to sell the home for an extended period of time, and eventually the property was left abandoned. Recently, it was bought by a developer who possibly has plans to demolish or remodel the house. However, there are no signs of this happening anytime soon. As of today, in 2023, it sits abandoned with many things left behind. Come join me and see what we found inside. What's up guys? Today we are at the craziest, craziest abandoned mansion that I've seen yet. And I'm super excited to show you guys this. We don't really have much of the backstory as of right now. I'll do a little bit better in the B-rolls, but um, yeah, we, this is a $12 million mansion. It's got like eight or nine, six or eight bedrooms around like that, but there's a lot here. But yeah, I'm with my boy Steve Ronan. Well, he's inside right now, so yeah, let's go show you guys what we found. Look at that. We are literally in the pool of the house. Like there's the driveway, this is the main part of the entrance. Check this is out, this is so cool, I can't even speak, that's how stunned I am. But yeah, the driveway's right there. Front doors, or, or let me clarify this thing, there's no true front entrance here. But yeah, this is uh, this is kind of like the opening to it. And yeah, you'll hear that uh, beep go off a little bit because of the fire uh, fire alarm and stuff. But this is so cool to me. You can see where people came in and started to smash glass and everything on that window. But like, I love how there's this open sun, like this visible glass to the main entrance and everything. This is so cool. But I still can't get over this. This is so gorgeous. I love the wood and everything on top. That's my favorite part about this place. And this pool was deep. You can see like how all the stuff was thrown in the, down in the bottom of the pool. You still have more pool supplies and everything over here. All your pool floaties, the little uh, pillows for the, the pool chairs. And I love how there's this little like balcony side over here so you can kind of just look over the place. Wait, let's see if we can see if there's any uh, indicators on how deep this pool was. Because I'm not seeing anything on the side right here. Probably standing over, I guarantee it. Wow, nothing. But there's even like little like handlebars like on the side of there so you can like hold on to. This is a big pool. Like, the part down here and everything. <laughs> and there's even like bedrooms on the side here. Oh, I don't have my, I don't think I have my light on me, but you can kind of see from in here, this is a sauna. To turn on sauna, Turn knob to one, not past one, until you hear a click sound. Sauna will shut off automatically after an hour. Let it rest for a few minutes before dialing to one again. We got some beds over here. This is kind of like a hotel kind of bed. Like, that's funny to me. Or like, uh, not a hotel kind of bed, like a hotel kind of room. This is a weird carpet to it. That's what I was trying to say. This is bed and everything. Not this old TV looking here. And that's an old one too. 
Not that I'm saying I'm expecting standards in here, but this is a very expensive house. And they got a cool bathroom over here. Look at the bath towels are still here. Like, <laughs> there's still water in the toilet. Wouldn't be surprised if there's running water here. Got this really cool glass bathroom. Huh. Look, there's even cobwebs here. That's how long these have been sitting here. <laughs> See what's over here. This is a nice bedroom over here. Got more shelves, another TV. Another really cool bathroom. Look at how like all the bathrooms, like you're gonna notice here, these are all marble. Like all these tiles and everything that are still here. Love how there's a uh, little like soap holder thing, like a little plate for the soap. There's a candle still here. Oh look, there's even soap. <laughs> this was a tiny tub. Like, what? I'm a tall person, so if I wanna lay down in that, it's not gonna work for me. But look, there's even flowers still here. Just dead flowers sitting on the side of the bed, like a bouquet. As we walk up here, examine the top a little bit, because I kind of just walked past it. They got the little tiki umbrellas. Nice little couch. We got this Christmas tree that's still here. This is a cool little light fixture. Huh. It's like a little, ooh, I stepped on a thing. Yeah, it's like a little bulb, like a globe. This is cool. There's like a little like glass little like divider up here. I wonder what's in here. This is an empty room. Yeah, this is just an empty room. <laughs> oh, this is a cool bathroom. Look at how much light this the the sunlight in the top. I thought the lights were on. That's how bright it is in here. <laughs> Look at that. This room's empty. I wonder if the other room is kind of empty like that. Oh, there's a little purple couch. Another bathroom. Oh, but this one's a little bit different. Oh, this looks like candy. Like, what? <laughs> I like the tiles in this one better. And yet another small tub. I kind of like how there's like just this like massive cubby on the side. That's so weird to me. And then like you can there's like the shower head and everything. There's even more soap still on the the windowsill there. Like <laughs> this is. You could have so many of your friends over here. If this was me and my group of friends, we would have shattered that. If this was like an Airbnb, we would have shattered that in the first 10 minutes. Like, like the glass. Because we're idiots. I think this is the grand bathroom. Yeah, look at this. What? Oh, was somebody taking this apart? Because there's like screws and everything on there. Huh, yeah, it looked like somebody was dismantling this. This is a massive bathroom, look at this, like with that window and everything. And then you have your little uh, jacuzzi kind of tub there. It had jets and everything in it. And all of this is, like all of the, the looks are gold and marble. That's crazy. It looks like, it sounds like a doorbell or a freaking uh, an elevator is here. Or is like going, like dinging. It's got such cool architecture. That's what I love about this house. It's all like triangles when it comes to the ceilings. Everything's slanted. See this big uh, walk-in shower right here. Got another. I think that was Steve calling me. Hold on. Yeah. 
What? You want me to take a look at the front? Because I thought I heard your voice. Yeah, I was trying to call you. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me, let me try to take a look. I don't know why this house makes me so scared. It's like, like, my hands are shaking. I have the gimbal, so you're not gonna tell, but. You wanna walk around? Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, because you gotta remember there's a, there's a road and it doesn't connect to the actual driveway, but just so that you know, the fence blocks off any car, like let's say a car did drive up here, they'd still have to hop the fence to get to the front door. Because okay, okay. the, 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 the fence completely has us ca captured in. So yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah. Dude, but I don't, know, I don't know what it is. Even when I came here for the first time, I was sketched out the entire time. And I think it's just this house. Because right. I'm like, I don't know why, I'm, just, I'm always like on edge about like something here. But, hey, let's go back to the master bedroom over here. This is like a little like, like what's kind of cool about this place is that it has like these little patios like in the center of the house where like just leaves and stuff were, or like plants and stuff would grow, kind of like a little garden area. And over here you have like a, like the master bedroom. Now it seems like somebody ripped off the bottom pegs for it. Because now that I'm looking, now that I remember that it was like that random pole just in the uh, bathroom. That's exactly what these were. Look at how cool this is. Like it's just, it's such a big bedroom. And you have so many windows covered by curtains, all this. But over here is the really, really cool part. I love this bathroom so much. We got this cool stained glass. Now on my channel, if you guys have uh, seen me post it before. But I love, love stained glass. It's so cool to me. Any kind of church that we go, or that I go to, or any kind of like structure that has it, this is really cool to me. It's all gold and marble tiles like, like look at the fountain, the, the, the drain is even a swan, like a bird. He's got these really cool mirrors with some design, like, I don't even know what it is, but it's like these little textured things there. And a massive open, or not a massive, but like we got a, another walk-in uh, shower. I don't know what would be in there. What does that look like? There was something just hanged up there. Look, there's even a loofah. Like I was saying, like how in that, it looks like it's a picture frame of some sort. And there's still more soap. Room temperature, time, steam, steam shower. That's cool. And look, there's even like a little vent. Here, I'll show them more this side. It's even like a little vent. For it. Another, this looks like a bathroom, yeah, the actual toilet. Over here, this is a massive, like, uh, walk-in, again, like, closet of some sort. It's so cool, you have the sunlight in here, the, the, su the skylight, um, window. And again, this looks like a sauna. Like, most of the, the closets that we've seen, all of them have been, like, sauna. A sauna's... I'm, I'm not, I don't know what the word I'm trying to look for, but they're all, they resemble it. Like the, the wood walls and everything, this is so cool. I love how there's the plant in the corner. This, it's obviously a fake plant. Uh, I don't know, because this isn't my first time here. But, I would have expected it to at least be dead-ish. Unless somebody's coming in and watering it, but although like you can see the uh, things got ripped off the, the hinges, the doors for the bottom. So now we're over by the kitchen area. Look at this little like chandelier, this like deer antler 
chandelier. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I guess this would be the grand entrance then. There's so many doors to this place that it just like, you don't know what would be the entrance to it. Cause you got this nice little walkway up to this really cool door. <laughs> that's funny. No, not funny, I mean, that's just cool. This kitchen's really cool. You can see right here, they have another little, uh, I don't even, I don't even know, just in, like a little section here for like plants and stuff, you can see. Look, I'm sure you could even control the, uh, I guess the temperature in here. It was like a thermostat, if not controlled, because I don't see it connected to anything. This is a really cool, um, really cool oven. This is very 90s, which is the way that it looks. <laughs> See, there's cop coffee stuff, a cup still here, there's Pierre. We got <laughs> washing gloves here. This stove is really cool. It's one of those electric glass top stoves. I love that. Like, <laughs> I know the power works. I'm sure I can still turn it on, but it's just like, I don't know how much I want to F around and find out. Um, Cause today I'm not really feeling that, uh, not really feeling that adventurous, if you know what I mean. I'm going to open the, uh, the fridge. No, the fridge isn't on. Yeah. I thought it would be on, but it's not on. There's even some baking soda or whatever. Arm and hammer in there. That's... I'm assuming it's baking soda. Watch it be something else and I'm just entirely wrong. The Complete American Jewish Cookbook. Huh. Look at that. This is cool. Lots of, lots of stuff. This is also a really nice like kitchen top. Like, Island, I guess, is the best term to call or the best word to use for it. I really do like this kitchen. I really hope somebody buys this or uh, uh, buys it, fixes it up, and doesn't let this go to waste because rumor is, has it it is getting demolished, which I don't understand why anybody would demolish this. Needs some TLC. It got a little roughed up, but still in perfectly good shape. In this little room here, there's a crazy chandelier. Like, this is cool. Wonder where would the light switch be? The wall, it's most likely gonna be this, but mm, now I'm not feeling so adventurous because it didn't look like a, a traditional light switch. But you can see where some of the chandelier glass broke. At least somebody sweeped it up. This place is in an area where kids just came here to party. And you can see all the smashed glass and everything. This is probably one of the coolest shots here. Or one of the coolest rooms here, in my opinion. But, uh, that pool is still pretty cool, but... This is such a... This is just awesome. This is such a great shot, too. You can see how so many people destroyed vinyl records. These vinyl records don't look like normal vinyl records, though. These look like CDs in the size of vinyl records. That's always the... It's the weirdest thing, or weirdest part to me. Oh, somebody destroyed the turntable. No! Oh, that's so upsetting. You can see scrappers got to this. Oh. That's the best that I'm gonna get it, but you can see this was a dual audio system. This is so, so cool. There's this massive chair here. I like how this wood kind of just, did I just call this a chair? The couch, oh my God. It's a massive couch. And I've seen this in, in abandoned places all the time where the wood just kind of pops up 
And I don't know why. And I'm just like, maybe it's like the hardwood floors, like they, they're not getting treated right or something like that, but it's always so weird to me. But I love this little sunroom. Cause look, it's even directly in the, in the light of the sun. It's so bright there, but this is so, so cool to me. This house, I would have loved to live in this house. Like over on the floor down here, we got all the vinyl records and everything just thrown around. Or like, a, it kind of looked like a little bar for this, where like everybody's friends and everybody would hang out, and they'd have all the alcohol up on the on the side here. This place even had a fireplace too. This is really cool, and like you can even see through the wall. It goes through both sides. There's even a piece of wood left in that. Let's walk around because there's a little cool light fixture around this. Like this place is just so aesthetically pleasing. I love every bit of it. It's gonna be so heartbreaking when this house gets destroyed. But look at the wood. Ah. Uh, the the wall the the rock wall and everything like that. That's so cool. Let's look through some of the vinyl records and see if there's anything good here. Some of these aren't even opened yet. Top 40 professional series. Oh no, these are opened. There's not even discs in them. Oh, that's so upsetting. So, oh, this is entirely, uh... I can't tell the difference if this is Cantonese or it's, it's definitely Chinese, Japanese. It's one of those languages. I just can't tell which one because I don't speak it or am educated enough to know which is from what region. It could be Korean for all I know. But yeah, so I'm going to take an educated jet, a guess that uh, an Asian family lived here and they were of the background of that and they apparently spoke the language because they were listening to it. But that doesn't always tell that uh, it doesn't always mean that they speak the language because I listen to Spanish music and I'm not even, or I'm not that fluent in Spanish. This is crazy. I would have loved to, uh, to just take a record, walk over here, grab and just throw it on the, the, the little station over here. Cause I'm, I think this is the speakers. It looks like a little storage in there, but this is like the mesh. For the, for like speakers that you would see. Oh yeah, yeah, that's speakers. But, I would have loved to just sit here, listen to music and vibe. This, this would be the chill room. If I had all the money in the world, I'd grab all my friends and just, this would be the room. This is so cool. And even this couch is really, um, really comfortable. This, this place just leaves me, uh, leaves me stunned, speechless. It's, it's crazy to see how much money somebody can have. Because this, I don't have any kind of money like this. And it's, it's just, it's crazy. Look, there's even this, uh, Crestron? looks like it would control something, like either all the lights in this area or anything like that. I'm sure it still works, but again, we, I don't want to test that. So as I was taking my shots of the, of the place, I noticed that there was a pool cue uh, ending, like one of those little like, uh, like the trainer to help the people shoot the pool cue a little bit better. I always say it's the cheating stick, but I, I guarantee this spot used to have a pool table, like, sitting right here. Bro, this mansion is incredible. Right? Dude, this is, like, the perfect, like, mansion. Like, I would love to live here because it's not too big. It's, like, the perfect size. Oh, yeah. It's not too far to walk to, like... Exactly. Room, and you have this massive pool. Like, it's unbelievable. My favorite part about this room in particular is the wood uh, design on the ceiling. Yeah. Like, yeah, that, that's, sure. that's the cool... Like, it's so cool to me. What do you think that wood is? Timber? 
I honestly have no clue. It kind of looks like timber. It does. But it's like, because this isn't the only part of the house that has that too. It's like a bunch of other parts, like the ceilings and everything. Like oh, in yeah, the, so, like the room, yeah, room like area. all of it room. has this and it's so cool. Yeah. I never would have thought like a mansion would look cool with this type of yeah with you know, this vibe yeah. uh huh <laughs> like also the like cobblestones too oh yeah no the cobblestone was definitely a good touch it almost feels like I'm in some sort of like resort <laughs> <laughs> yo <laughs> honestly know. like when you walk into the bedrooms over there like like I was saying in my video that it like it looks it feels like a hotel room yeah right like a resort like yeah, a so resort room that's even a better description be a perfect place if you were to live here to kind of rent this area out I was gonna and kind of make it to an Airbnb <laughs> that's what I said too a lot of money since it has its own yeah room, you know what I mean one thing that I didn't think I put enough focus on was these hallways because you can see over here you have these little again these sun these sky windows and like how the lights are on in here yeah so this place still has power oh there's even more to this uh, bathroom it's like glass and everything. That smells horrible. So I really hope another explorer did not leave leave something for me, like a nice little present. Look, light switches were ripped out too. What did this say? Driveway, front entry. Oh, these are the outside lights. Huh. That's crazy. Oh, here's the garage. Oh, is this a garage? Oh. Is this the one you're talking about? Yeah. No, I guess that was a different door than... Do they have different garages? Or is this the same garage? I don't know. All I know is when last time we were here, Colin opened that other door. Yeah. And then all we heard was, welcome home. And we were like, what? <laughs> Interesting. But, yeah, no, this is crazy. I've never seen this part then. This is all trashed and everything. Or, not trash, but like... She let me sauce you up in foosball. Oh, there's a foosball. <laughs> Oh, you're talking to a foosball world champion. Oh, are we now? <laughs> <laughs> Add that to the resume. <laughs> Where's the pups or whatever? Balls. Uh, I don't think we have time to play anymore. No. Let's, let's, let's do that. We'll have to do it later when we're not exploring. We'll come back just for <laughs> just to play foosball. Yes. No, it looks like they're movies. I thought maybe like make some tapes of their life experiences or something. I've always wanted to do that, like, take a VHS tape and play it and see if it's got, like... Is that, uh... Yo, is that a control, a Nintendo controller? No, it's for a PC. A PC, okay. Yeah, I thought it was, like, an old, like, Nintendo NES or something. Yeah. I was like, what? It's probably somewhere around here, then. <laughs> Yo, could you imagine? Yo, Nintendo 64 controller. Wait, just a box, there's nothing in it. <laughs> I think there's like a bunch of toys in these bags. And like there's like what? They have like toys. Toys and stuff, yeah. yeah. I kind of like this cabinet. I've never seen something with like a curtain behind it. Oh yeah, interesting. It's like, it looks like a confession, like a confession stand that you see in churches. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> This is like the laundry area. Yeah, Another like shower and bathroom in here. Looks like the washer and the dryer. Hmm. Yeah, this is a nice shower, but this is probably mostly used to clean stuff. Yeah, now that you say that, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Alright, should we... I bet this place had maids. Cause like, with how that place was, or how that like cleaning thing looked, and now we go to the basement. Do the AC still work or the, the AC is still running? That's probably to like keep the basement from getting cold. So uh, this this stops here, but were there are other spots to go on the, the other side. Right? Hold on. Let's go to the other side, because in the front there, there was stuff. <laughs> this can't be the basement. <laughs> I think this is more so to control the power. Like the, the sauna and all that stuff. Yeah, probably the control like 
pistols and saunas. Here, because follow me, there's another one right here. Right, if anything, this will lead down to the basement. I love how it just, I love it's a spiral stairway. <laughs> It's kind of weird that he has something that looks this luxurious going down to the basement because I thought this was going down to a bedroom. Or for what we all know, this might be going to a bedroom. We got so much closet space yet again. That's all that this looks like is just closet space and uh... Oh, really? Yeah. Literally just used to fit all their clothes. Like there, there's so much here, that's what's funny to me. It's like... I know. <laughs> Chinese love to shop, so they need their extra closets, you know? Steve said it, not me. No, it's 100% true. <laughs> I know it's a stereotype, but I see it all the time. <laughs> kind of want to see what that other uh, yeah. thing went down looked like. Oh, some of the lights are on outside. Oh, God, Look at I that. You saw some. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> We'd be running. Alright. The last one down there. Alright. Here are, here's the last step. <laughs> check. This must be down to the basement. It's the only way. Anything? Don't tell me they have Co no, no. Look at this. <laughs> oh, what the? That's scary. It even says keep out right there. Might lead to the dungeon. <laughs> Whoa. I, I. Uh, All the power is still on here. This is so creepy, man. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm glad I'm not alone exploring this. <laughs> yeah, um. Yeah, that's. That's the. That probably has a lot of, like, electricity running. Right? Yeah. Okay. That still works. Yo, this looks like straight out of a horror movie. For real. Bro, what if it leads even further down? What the heck? Oh, there's two. What? Just like, what yeah, like there's... I'm sure other explorers have gone down here. Looks like this pipe bursts. You can kind of see traces of yeah. water at one point. That's it. Yeah, that's your look living room. Yeah. Alright. Is there anything in here? It's Nothing. so empty. This is scary. Like this is really Let's creepy. Get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree with that. <laughs> the basement is definitely not your typical basement. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's just a dead end. Thank God. I don't I was like I don't want more of this. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Finally, bro. Alright. Now I can close out my video. Alright guys, well that was that $12 million mansion. Forgot to film my outro in their place, but we're uh, I'm home now. We finished that up. Steve is getting ready, packed up, going home. Yeah, this was my bedroom last yeah, night. Yeah, for, for his stay here, but yeah, go follow Steve Ronan, and we'll see you guys in the next Explore.